Climate change is nothing new anywhere in the world. What's different today, of course, is uh, the causes of the changes and the direction they're going in, which we can attribute to ourselves. We're part of this entirely new epoch of Earth history, the Anthropocene epoch, which translates to the age of humans, where our influences have become geological in scope. You can't turn a blind eye. I want my kids' generation to not have to deal with climate change. We can fix it. We figure out what our jobs are and what we want to accomplish. We go to the Youth Summit and find ways to accomplish our goals. It's as simple as that. The Adirondack Youth Climate Summit, you go and it's two days and there's plenary sessions, there's workshops, and then you get a bunch of other time to make a climate action plan for your school. This is what I need to do, and this is really important to me. It's really become a major, major part of my life. The trips we went on leading up to the Climate Summit are something that gave me a bigger respect for the Adirondacks and for how big a role it plays in climate change in itself. From an Osable River Association perspective, we really think a lot about education. And what we heard here after Irene was we wanted to do the right thing, but we didn't know what it was. The food system is actually one of the largest contributors to climate change. Our way of eating, our way of growing food, has a really big climate footprint. I wanted to build a house that was an example. I wanted to do everything just to show what could be done with the hopes that some people would say, oh, well, I can do solar or, or geothermal. You know, people want to have a sense that their life matters, the great work, a sense that you're creating something for future generations. Our students are like, we have to do this ourselves. We're done with this society that's reliant on foreign fuels. We want more localized economies. We want community action. And that's what I like about the Youth Summit, is it really does focus on those solutions. What can we do in our little pocket? How can we make a difference? We're writing the story of how the humans saved the Earth. And we want to be known for that, not known that we destroyed it.